Hello and welcome back to Funnelheads and today we have a room tour, or cabin tour, stateroom tour, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we are on the MSC Divina and we are going to be touring room 12079 which is an interior room and I'm going to flip this around and let's get started. Let's come into the door real quick. Welcome into our interior cabin and as you can see it's pretty spacious. We've been on other cruise lines whether it be Royal Caribbean, Carnival, where interior is a little bit tight, but on MSC, you got plenty of room for activities. Uh, we actually really like the bunk bed to be over the bed. We actually had an incident on our last cruise where a little man fell off of the top bunk and it was actually on the floor because it was over the floor. Now we put down pillows and everything, uh, but being over the bed, we like a lot more because we know exactly where he is. Uh, but as you come into the room, you have lots of closet space. Uh, we'll open up a couple of these. So you have your safe here. You make your own password. Uh, you can reset it. Uh, put all your valuables in there, passports, IDs, wallet, anything you don't need goes right into the safe. You have all of these convenient little drawers to, uh, for all of your you know, foldable clothes. There's some shelving up here as well. That is just the one closet. Moving on to the other closet. Oh, you're going to have to come this way. So you have more shelving here. So you have life jackets on the top shelf. Very important. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six shelves. So plenty of room just between the two. But then you have two more. And this is where you're going to actually hang your clothes. Of course, you can put your shoes down there if you have different totes or whatnot. Um, but you have lots of hangers. You can always request more hangers from your room steward. Or you can bring hangers either way. I would just request them, though. They have them all over the place. So lots of storage. You could also kind of condense the life jackets a little bit as well. So if you needed extra space, you could definitely make extra space. Uh, as you come into the room, uh, you have your uh, key card that's going to be put into the device here <laughs> and that's gonna make the room uh, of course all the lights come on you know they're trying to save energy just like all the other cruise lines plus they save some money as well which is always good you have your thermostat above here uh, we like it kind of cooler than we would you know at home because of course we're trying to save money at home so we do put it a little bit cooler uh, your light switch of course and then the bathroom is actually really modern again compared to some other cruise lines um, they do have instead of the uh, the what is it called the shower curtain you actually have this uh, alien looking contraption that opens and closes so uh, a lot of people do prefer this setup uh, a little bit more than the shower curtain because the shower curtain kind of sticks to you it feels weird so uh, there's that you also have your soaps uh, your body wash and your shampoo so if you didn't bring those they have that provided uh, I know Michelle usually brings you know her shampoos conditioners all that but I typically use what they have um, of course your towels for the bathroom all fold nicely your toilet of course um, and then just a couple more glass shelves here your nice sink which is actually deeper than some of the other cruise lines as well and of course you need your bottle opener is <laughs> so, there really <laughs> on the side of the bathroom oh my gosh. <laughs> just, just in case you need a beer, you know, while you're sitting no, on the that's toilet. that's gotta be something else. <laughs> it's definitely a bottle opener. Um, I don't know. And then you have your tissue box. Uh, that's all it. That. <laughs> <laughs> So that is the bathroom. As you can see, it's very modern. You know, the colors are nice. Uh, you know, if you get sand in here, it'll blend in quite a bit, but they clean it once a day. And uh, well, yeah, it's a very nice, spacious bathroom compared to, again, some of the other cruise lines. Uh, now coming into the room, you have a little sitting area, you know, in case you, you know, need to do some work or whatnot. Uh, I'll probably be using this area for um, you know my laptop or whatnot, editing videos during the cruise while the little man and Michelle will get ready. Uh, we are lived in just a little bit. We got all, or actually two of our three suitcases so far. 
Um, there is a mini fridge as well. So if you want to grab some drinks from upstairs, bring them back to the room, it is packed at the moment. They can clear this out though, if you uh, ask them to, and then you can just put in your own drinks or you can just make room and kind of uh, use it, you know, along with the drinks that are in there. You have your small TV, but I mean, honestly, I don't know anybody that comes on a cruise to specifically watch the TV, but the TV's here if you wanna, you know, play it while you're trying to go to bed or, you know, just play it in the background while you're getting ready, it is there. Your ice bucket, which we love to have filled uh, each day, you know, just in case you need ice throughout the day to get those drinks uh, re-lubricated. <laughs> um, uh, it's always a good idea. All of your switches, we actually bring a really cool device uh, with us that we will use, so that way we have a bunch of uh, USB uh, outlets but they have you know your uh, regular uh, 110 volt and then your European 220 volt as well light switch um, then, and then a couple drawers here nothing too crazy your awesome blow dryer that I don't know if you it works or not maybe michelle can comment on that <laughs> I, don't, I bring my own yeah you also have a little bit of shelving above the tv so if you want to put like towels up here fold them nice and neat or really anything i can go up there there's a little bit of space behind the tv as well and then we put all of our luggage underneath the bed nice and neat uh it's not there currently but we will move it there shortly of course your msc branded towels that you'll need to bring to the pool or the beach you have your nightstand on either side with two drawers on it a piece light switches behind the pillows you have more light switches in case you want to read or whatnot one person wants to read one person wants to go to bed and that is basically the room so as you can see again it's pretty spacious in the middle part which is nice like like i said you know some of the other cruise lines or other rooms you kind of have to like do this style so like in the front of the bed the side of the bed but there's plenty of room to get by now whoever's sleeping on this side is gonna have to be doing some caveman stuff to get out of the bed <laughs> unless you scoot up but other than that um, that is the room so if you have any questions in regards to interior room on the Davina let us know in the comment section below or if there's something that I didn't cover thoroughly enough let me know and I'll explain it a little bit more but hopefully we'll see you right back here in the next yes, video oh, or on a cruise ship one day catch you later, later. <laughs> bye bye